about something that's super important but very rarely talked about and as part of a series that I've been doing to introduce some different concepts that I'm covering in a free training that's coming up which I'll mention later I have been looking at sharing with you ways of attracting not just clients consistently into your business but dream clients and I don't mean that as a pie in the sky sort of really hyped marketing speak I do literally mean people who not just love what you do they love how you do it and they get the best results okay so they are ideal people people who are highly motivated to make a change that are highly coachable that not just love what you do but the way you do it specifically so they have a preference for you so that's what I mean by ideal client and I've been sharing different things with you um, throughout this last couple of weeks so if you haven't checked out those videos I have done one on who the right people really are and how to start dialing in to who really is ideal for you not just anyone and any run-of-the-mill person but who is ideal and also what should you be sharing to attract them and connect with them so I've done those videos tomorrow I'm going to do one about now that you know who they are and what you want to share it's about sharing it in the right way okay so if you've been sharing heaps of content and you're like well Tina I've already done that like I blog out the wazoo and I email my list every week and you know I try and get up on my social media page either doing lives or I'm posting like a crazy person and I'm still not getting anywhere then tomorrow is for you because it's not just sharing and broadcasting it's doing it in a way that is actually relevant to your person and connected connected to them and also to the offers that you are making Okay, and that's oftentimes the missing piece that people miss. Okay, so don't um, miss that one. That one is tomorrow. Okay, but today I wanted to pop in and um, discuss the chameleon syndrome with you. And the chameleon syndrome is something that quite a few women, and possibly men as well, uh, suffer from, and they don't know it. But it can be one of those things where it really repels you from getting clients and it stops you from showing up and marketing and therefore actually attracting those clients so I want to discuss that with you now so chameleon syndrome is something that I refer to as such because it's all about changing who you are the core of who you are or being confused about the core of who you are like a chameleon changes its skin its patterns to suit different environments so chameleon syndrome usually happens 90 percent of the time to highly sensitive people who are usually empaths as well and it affects these people because they have a finely tuned system where they they love harmony they love connecting to people they love to be um, not rushed calm and centered and they have this beautiful gift of being really connecting so they're empathetic they sort of feel other people's ups and downs they can literally feel someone's pain at times too depending on how empathic you are and they're highly sensitive to any sort of fluctuations of aggression or sadness or stress and so they're constantly broadcasting out their feelers so they're adjusting to other people so highly sensitive empaths usually are the ones that get chameleon syndrome because as I said their energy is sort of bouncing out and coming back and they're sort of scanning all of the different connections between people and themselves and chameleon syndrome happens when 
you get feedback that's negative in some way. So perhaps in your life when you were younger, people used to say to you, oh, you're too sensitive, like stop being a sook, or you're too loud, or not everything's a joke, you know, so don't think you're so funny, or it's not all about you, like don't try and be the centre of attention. Now, for some people when that happens, it's just like water off a duck's back. But for people who are highly sensitive and empathic, <clears throat> those things can really sting. And as a result, and because you're like a sponge and you absorb a lot of people's energy and thoughts and emotions, you tend to believe those things. And so you don't want people to be displeased. You don't want people to be uncomfortable. You don't want people to be angry or feel jealous or whatever it is, or to judge you harshly. And so you file that away as, I'm not to do that, that's bad. So you then morph who you are into something that's more palatable for other people. So it could be that your, you know, your parents said, stop outshining your sister, you know, you know she's um, not as good as you at this or someone could say um, you know don't be the center of attention or whatever it is okay it could even be something along the lines of you expressing your wants and your needs and having a negative feedback on it whether that's from parents or caregivers close friends um, siblings people in authority like teachers or coaches or something like that and so you learn to sort of mask and put aside the things that you valued, that you were passionate about, that you felt some type of way about, you learned that that wasn't safe for you to do, okay? And as a result, those parts of you that came naturally were subdued and in some cases locked, like locked down in a vault, depending on how much of a negative experience you had. And you just morph into the people you're with. So when you're with the party girls, you turn into a party girl. When you are with, you know, your mum and dad or your grandparents, you're a certain other way. And so having all of these different ways of being can actually add layers onto things so that it's really difficult for you to know exactly who the person underneath all those layers are. Who are you when you're not actually changing to suit other people and the reason why I mention this in the terms of business and even in the context of soulful branding which I'll explain in a moment is that when it comes to your business you need to know who you are because you need to express that clearly through a brand and your brand is the expression and the experience that someone has of you and your business so if you don't understand who you are, even what your passions are, like what message it is that you want to speak about, if you can't determine, you know, what you'd like to offer and why that's so valuable, you can't clearly distinguish your preferences, your values, your passions, then you are in a very difficult situation because you're so used to, in the chameleon syndrome, blending in and being all the things that other people think are appropriate that you are not clear about who you are underneath all of that and even more of a block to that is that you are a little bit frightened to show up and be who you are because past experience has told you that it doesn't always end up well when you do so that is a massive, massive block. That is not just a mental mindset thing, it's actually an emotional thing as well. And subconscious uh, beliefs and programs are running in the background. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I was with a client last week and on paper, she was telling me that she should be really like all guns blazing and getting stacks and stacks of clients and um, we were having a conversation to see whether you know we were a good fit to work together 
And when I checked out her website, she's a gifted writer, really, really um, talented person that really can connect to her audience. She had her audience figured out well. She had great content that, that she was producing regularly. She had, you know, over, I think it was 15,000 people on her Facebook page. She had all the pieces in place. And when she came to me, she had already been to a couple of different coaches and had done programs and things like that. And, you know, we were having a bit of a chat and I was talking to her um, and asking her some questions about why she thought she wasn't getting the consistency because she had all of the pieces, all of the strategy, all of the action steps there. And she said, I don't know. That's why I'm frustrated and that's why I've come to you. And when I had said to her, oh, the only thing that I could really see, because there's a bit of a mystery wrapped up in a conundrum around this situation of yours, is that you might be experiencing or you might have chameleon syndrome. And she'd never heard of it. And I explained it to her just like I did to you. And she actually started to cry, which then I thought, oh dear. But they were good tears, she said. At least that's what she said to my face. Um, because when I described that to her, she immediately, like her gut just went, that's actually it. And it was a really big breakthrough for her and a big aha moment. And we sort of discussed this a little bit further and I spoke to her about how soulful branding solves that piece because oftentimes people don't talk about that piece because it's all about the strategy and like what's your niche and um, you know how you're going to sell people into this and while those pieces are important you could have the best um, set up in the world and have all of the pieces in place just like she did and yet still not be attracting clients and making money. And that's because some people, not all, but quite a few people, particularly highly sensitive empaths, have this block where they have a, an undercurrent of fear and doubt about actually zeroing in on their mission, their purpose, their identity, and then stepping out into the online space or even in a bricks and mortar space for that matter, and sort of standing in their own value. And until you understand that that piece could be what's driving your business as well, you can be throwing tons of money, tons of time and tons of energy implementing really great strategies and it's still not gonna work. And if that's you at the moment or you're watching this on the replay, then I want you to have a think about chameleon syndrome. The good news is that chameleon syndrome can be overcome or at least minimized to a manageable level that won't hold you back any further. And the reason why it can be minimized is because soulful branding is different from traditional branding. Traditional branding starts with all of the outside pieces, like what's your target market, like um, what's your message, what are you going to sell, like what are their problems. That's important, but soulful branding starts with a different core. So it's all about really honing in on who you are on a really deep level. And through soulful branding, I specialize in using energy types, and energy types are kind of like archetypes and if we were going to compare it to something more modern because energy types are very very ancient it would be something like an enneagram or the fascination test or something like that the difference between elemental energies is that it really is about expressing who you are in its most natural form and not only that energy types help you to then discover where you're holding yourself back like what your gifts are first of all 
and what you're really meant to be aligned to, what's your purpose in the world. Then it also shows you where your blocks are. And then it has a really magical piece, which is called the supporting energy, which helps you to safely overcome those blocks without having like triggering your subconscious to either make you sick or sabotage yourself. The supporting energy helps you focus on that area and then safely navigate and bring out those blocks so you have a more holistic way of operating. So I could go on and on about energy types, but what I'd like to do is to invite you to my new free training that's coming up next Wednesday on the 18th of March because it's better for me to show you on the training with some slides and some graphics so you really understand it. And I'm really excited about it because as I said, people often don't talk about chameleon syndrome and yet it can be one of the most sort of heart crushing, soul destroying things that women go through. They try all the tactics, they try all the things and yet it's not working and oftentimes they don't know it's because of chameleon syndrome. Okay. Everyone has a unique story. Everyone has a, a purpose that's unique and it's a combination not just of what you're good at or you're excellent at like your skills but it's really a combination of the natural gifts that you possess your skills your passions and your life experience and that's what's going to help you stand apart not just to attract those clients to you but really to feel like you know yourself and that you actually stand in your own confidence which is what chameleon syndrome that I've been talking about robs you of. So if you've tried all the things, if you have all of these different marketing aspects, you've tried emailing, social media, blah, 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 I want you to consider that it may be chameleon syndrome. So if you've only just joined me, rewind this video because chameleon syndrome can really derail your own confidence and your business and it doesn't have to be that way. So come along to the training next Wednesday and I'm going to show you the three really super simple steps, including how to overcome um, chameleon syndrome so that you can actually create a brand that is truly aligned to you and a business that does attract people to you so you don't have to hustle and have a to-do list a mile long because you don't need that. So the details are below. I hope to see you at the training and if you're watching this on the replay, um, please just answer any question or ask any questions sorry I will answer them and I'm happy to come back and answer them for you so I hope to see you at the training uh, where we can get your business thriving and also to get you to feel really confident and not second guessing yourself at every turn in your business because it doesn't need to be that hard okay well I will see you tomorrow where I'm going to be sharing how to actually market in a really simple and authentic way that gets people finding you instead of you having to go out constantly searching for clients. So I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.